Hello and welcome to WEEP instructional videos. My name is Stephanie and today we'll be learning to use years and time steps in the WEEP model. In front of you you can see the Weeping River Basin which comes pre-downloaded with WEEP. Going up into General, I'm going to click on Years and Time Steps. This is where you can control the different temporal aspects of WEEP and the way they're represented. I'll start here in Time Horizon where first it asks me for the current accounts year. The current accounts is the first year of your model, and also it will be the year that's the same throughout all the different scenarios. Once you plug in information for the current accounts, that information can be inherited by the different scenarios. All the scenarios will start the year after the current accounts year, in this case 2011, and go until whatever year we plug in here, last year's scenarios in this case, 2020. So our current accounts year is 2010 and all of our scenarios extend from 2011 to 2020. Next, I'm going to plug in information about the number of time steps per year. This is going to determine how we will subdivide the results and the way that it asks for data inputs. Right now, I have a yearly division of 12. Now that's how many months are in the year, but if I go down here, I can base this on calendar months or I could set these 12 time steps to be equal, or I could even do it manually. I'm going to keep it for the calendar months, but let's be very attentive and look over here where it lists all the different months, but it also lists the length of these months, which are of course not the same. So January has 31 and February is quite a bit shorter with 28. We'll come back to this. Returning to the time steps, I see the different ways that I can divide my year. They'll populate over here as well. For instance, if I divide it into quarters, we'll see quarters one through four. I can also divide it into weeks, which are listed by the date at the beginning of the week. Although I can change that down here at time step name format, and I can put instead a time format that lists the number of the week. So the example here is week 40. And when I look up at the top, I can see the title, week one, week two, for these different numbered time steps. I can see how they're abbreviated. I can see the length, which is seven for all of them because a week is seven days. And then I can see the start and end date of each period. I can also change my time steps per year again to make a daily model with 365 time steps per year. In addition to slow calculations and larger results files, a daily time step also requires more data, such as daily climate data or daily variation of demand. That's why a lot of people use monthly models in WEEP. Another good reason to choose a monthly model is because of the travel time within the model. WEEP makes water available throughout the model within a time step, so the head flow at the highest point is available to meet the farthest downstream demand. You should not choose a time step that is shorter than the maximum travel time of water from the top to the bottom of your model. If the area you've modeled is fairly large, a monthly time step is often best. Let's go back to months. Next, let's look down here where it says water year start. Now, it might make sense to start in January, but there are certain places in the US, for example, where the water year actually starts in October. And that will determine when the water year starts. For example, we see that the very first time step is now October. This will actually be October in 2009 because that's closer to the current accounts year. Now, remember that I said that it's important to note that the length of the months are different here because we said based on calendar month. So if I close here, we're gonna build a new demand site. So I'll click, drag, and release, and give it a simple name. And I'm going to right click on my demand site and go to edit data and monthly variation. Monthly variation is the monthly share of annual demand. So we can see it's in percent. If we had 300 cubic meters per year per person, We'd want to know how that's divided between the time steps that we delineated in the years and time step window. Here it says zero, so we haven't plugged in anything, yet we do see a pattern here. 
So why is this? Well, let's look at this. We're looking at the year 2010, but because I plugged in a water start year of October, my model actually starts modeling this in October 2009. So it goes from October to September of the current accounts year, which is mostly 2010. If the monthly variation is blank, shown here as zero, WEEP defaults to an equal allocation of demand for each time step, which is proportional to the number of days in each time step. That's why February, with fewer days than every other month, has a noticeably smaller share of the annual demand. So if you're working with a model with different month lengths, just be wary of this pattern. If you ever see that February with 28 days has a really low value compared to the other months, ask yourself if this is something that might be impacted by the length of the month. This has been a WEEP instructional video. Good luck with your models.